Oh, okay ad. Ain't nobody want these ads. But please watch my ads though. Please watch my ads, thank you very much. Hi guys, it's looking extra festive here. Oh my God, I thought, do you know what? Instead of filming in the usual spot, I will come in the living room where hubby's just gone all out with the decoration. This is only part of it. We've got a bunch of stuff everywhere. It, <laughs> the home is so cozy right now. I cannot explain. Like, it's just the most comforting feeling ever. And it, we just need the Harry Potter movies and we're good to go now. But anyways, as you guys requested, I'm here to give you my Black Friday wish list. This is gonna be going up on Black Friday itself. So if you guys, are looking to see what I've been wanting to get and um, you want to see some really good offers out there then just keep on watching. Obviously you have Black Friday and then you have Cyber Monday so there's going to be a bunch of deals so if you've had things waiting on your wish list and you're thinking like do you know what I'm actually going to get this now this is your time. Let's do makeup first and then we'll do like you know random stuff. Am I catfishing that bad because my face ID is not even going through? <laughs> Okay, makeup wise, the first thing is I need to stock up on the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation because I bloody love that foundation and I've run out. Considering the amount of makeup I use, I rarely run out of foundation unless I bloody love it. This is one of them. I'm definitely going to make use of the offers and stock up because why not? And by the way, the shade that I have in this foundation is literally my skin tone in a bottle and you guys know we love that around here so I need to I need to get one okay another thing that's been on my wish list for months and months and months like you know I try to not splurge because I'm a I'm a splurger I don't even think about my purchases if I see something and I want it I'm gonna buy it and it's so bad anyways I'm trying to make a habit of saving some items keeping it on my wish list for ages and then see like you know if three four months down the line I still want it and I really want this morphe times aerial brush set it's already on offer but i'm gonna wait a bit to see if it does reduce in price a bit more it just looks so good it's a bit of coin for the set but morphe brushes are bomb.com and it's in collaboration with aerial makeup by aerial so you know it's gonna be good i've also heard really good things about it so yeah okay the next thing is the hourglass glossy Balm. These balms are so worth every bit of hype they get because oh, I just can't explain. They just make your lips look so luscious. It lasts a good while. That's why I really like these because I don't have to keep reapplying as like my other glosses. I don't know. I just really like it. So I have the shade Mist, which is perfect for every day, but I really want Lucid. I also have my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in here because, you know, that's my go-to brow pencil and I cannot live without doing my brows. So yeah, if you guys want to know what my go-to brow pencil is is the NYX micro brow pencil in the shade black because the one underneath is a bit too reddish like it's too warm for me but the shade black is perfect okay I've got one skincare item here because your girl has so much skincare she doesn't need that much but one skincare item I really want to get is and I don't know why I haven't tried it all this time is the Ulla Henriksen banana bright eye cream I saw this TikTok of a girl saying that like her eyes under eyes looked like this before and then it now it looked so good the only thing she was using was this cream who would have thought bananas banana, banana, banana. oh minions <laughs> i was like what does that make me think of it's the minions i know i'm gonna get that eye cream i know something that's been on my wish list for so long now is the byredo perfumes but most specifically Sundays and Bibliotech. Sundays is a really, really nice, like sweet scent. And I remember I swatched in store and it lasted so long. I could smell it like throughout the day and it just smelled so nice. And I'm a sweet scent girl anyway. So yeah, it was just right up my street, but it was like a, oh, it was like a mix of a fresh and a sweet, but it just smelled lush and I didn't have anything like it. Then Bibliotech is kind of like, it almost reminds me of the Marc Jacobs green perfume. It smells like those purple, like violet candies, but the Byredo one smells more lush. Again, I don't know what they put in their perfumes, but they just smell so good. I definitely, I won't get one because bloody hell, one is like for 140 pounds. So I'll probably get, I don't know. <laughs> I would have to go in store and see which one I prefer on the day. Those Byredo perfumes have been on my wish list for so long now. Oh, and another perfume because I really want like everyday fresh scents and I really wanted the Narcisco. Oh, okay ad. Ain't nobody want these ads. But please watch my ads though. Please watch my ads, thank you very much. <laughs> so the one that I really wanted was the Narciso. No. 
Na kiso Narciso. Narcisco. You know what I mean, the Rodrigo for her perfume. <laughs> when I used to work out boots, so many women came in specifically for that perfume and it's nice. Like, I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but when I go in the office, I don't want to be overwhelming people with my perfume and some of my perfumes, well, most of them are super strong. A recent one that I got was the by a Chloe Au Naturel. It's like, um, I'm French and I'm saying Naturel. Au Naturel. Merci. That one is in a green bottle with like a green bow. It's like a sage green. That one is so nice for every day. But I kind of want something else. Like I want to switch it up sometimes. So yeah, this one would be a really good option. Now moving on to fashion, random stuff. So I got these really cool puffer jackets from TikTok shop and they were like 30 pounds and they're so good. So I'm good for puffer coats, unless we have a dog and then I need to go on walks and I need to really invest in the puffer coat. But for now, I didn't need one. And these TikTok shop ones are so good. Like they're so good. They legit feel like high-end coats. I'll link my video in TikTok where you can directly shop these coats. But I wanted a coat for like, every, you know, when I'm looking a bit classy. I feel like with coats, that's why you have to really invest because I've had this coat for less than a year now. And it was a bit pricey. I don't even know what the materials are, but it's heavy. You could tell it's good quality-ish. I'm just sick of the bubbles, like the bubbles, the fabric looking really cheap and there's a massive hole in my pocket, I'm so over it. I don't know, if I can find a picture, I'll put it here, but it's like those uh, wrap boats, it's just black, simple. Anyways, I've been looking everywhere, I've been looking everywhere and then I saw this one from Mango and I feel like I'm going to get it because, do you know what shook me? I feel like if I'm going to get a high-end coat, I want the materials to be at least 90% wool or a mix of wool and cashmere or something. A lot of these high-end coats have like polyamide, polyester, viscose, which are, and some of these are just shitty materials. Like, I'm not gonna lie. If it's recycled, then fine, I can do with that. I just, I just want the wool. I want 100% wool coat, okay, without it costing like two grand. And I found some on Selfridges, they were like 400, 500 pounds, but they were like still 50% or 40% polyester, viscose or whatever. And I'm just, I'm not having that, I'm not having it. And then I was looking at the H&M premium uh, range and their coats were like 60-ish wool and something else, which was okay. It was like a mix. And I found one from Mango and that one's the to be honest, that one, that one was the best I found at that price point and it was 70% wool and the rest, I don't know what it is. So I feel like that's the best I could get. So I'm probably gonna get this for sure. I'm gonna wait to see if it goes on offer because it's not at the moment, Mango. But yeah, that is one coat that I really want. And then I don't really, do you know what? I need a pair of jeans. I don't know where I'm gonna find them. If you guys have jean, like good jeans recommendations, but not like, I don't want like a high street brand. Like if you guys have invested in a good pair of jeans, let me know. Apart from diesel, maybe, I don't know. I just don't have any jeans and sometimes I don't want to be wearing joggings and leggings every day. Like I feel like I need a pair of good jeans. I wanted a, another set of drawers, so forget about aesthetics here. Because ain't nobody got space for aesthetics, you know? We have limited space and I need more drawers for my makeup because my makeup desk is appalling. Uh, I'd be embarrassed. So I've been wanting the, to get another set of my drawers and it went on offer. So I actually got one. It's just these simple plastic drawers, but they have been sturdy. They've been lasting me for years. Every time someone asks me, oh, show us your collection, show us a collection. I don't like keeping too much than I need. Like I already have so much for my one round face. I know I got cheeks, but I don't need that much. But the reason why I don't show it is because it's just not aesthetic in any way, shape or form. Like I just put it in these plastic drawers. Maybe one day I'll get something prettier once I have a full makeup room and like office space. But right now I don't and I do with what I have. And these drawers are like really affordable, they're handy and they're really good quality. It was 37 pounds, I got it for 31. I thought I'd add some books in here, something, a book set that I've really wanted to get, so a series, is the, the Once Upon a Broken Heart series by Stephanie Garber. I've heard only good things about this. I think it's like fantasy, romance, everything that I love in a book. I don't think anything could match Akatar, and I'm currently reading the Throne of Glass series, but Throne of Glass doesn't have the romance that I, I'm craving like it just doesn't have it there so i feel like this series is gonna have it yeah i know these will go on offer for sure let's see what i have on my goodreads that i've been wanting to get i think i've got too many books that like i need to read like my tbr is just ever growing but there's not 
I'm not reading at the same pace, so it just keeps growing. Oh, from Blood and Ash. Apparently, that's supposed to be really good. Yeah, Blood and Ash and The Six of Crows. Yeah, those are the books I want. I mean, I've got too many. Like, I've, I need to control myself. And I already bought some more books the other day. It's so bad. By the way, guys, another thing that I wanted were boots, and I already got them. There's these boots. Oh my god, they are so nice. I love a squared heel boot. Like, it's so classy and elegant. And I got these boots from ASOS. They're, they're a bit of a block heel and I got a wide foot because my feet are so weird. My feet go like this. Like, they're just freaking weird. Okay, I'm surprised my husband did, wasn't scared of them the moment he saw them. But um, <laughs> I have to get wide feet because, like, my feet just feel weird when they're, like, squished together. Like, it just feels so uncomfortable. I swear I have a problem with my feet. No, this is no joke. Like, medically, like, there has to be, there's some condition I don't, that I'm not aware of. But anyways, I got these boots and they're so nice. They're comfy, they're healed, and I can walk in them. So if I can walk in them, they're good heels. And they just go really high up and they're just so, they're so nice. I'll link them below. That is everything that is on my current wish list for Black Friday. Obviously, I'm not going to get everything because... Well, I can't. Christmas is around the corner as well. Everything is just coming by quick. How is it almost 2024? I don't understand. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this little sit down chit chat video. Do you want me to film more videos here? Because I'm not mad at it. But anyways, thank you so much for all the love and always stopping by to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. Give this video a like and subscribe so you can join the family and I will see you. Also, don't forget your jeans recommendations. Okay, guys, let me know. And um, yeah, I will see you in my next video.